Hi everyone, in this video I'll be walking you through how to use Chakra UI's default theme. Chakra UI comes with a default theme component that helps you maintain consistency across all components in your application. So we're talking about consistency in terms of the color palette, in terms of the font sizes, in terms of the spacing, in terms of anything at all in your component. Um, the default theme that Chakra UI comes with helps you to easily specify all of this and make sure that there is so much um, composability in terms of your code. So we'll be going right into it and I'll be showing you exactly how to use this default theme object. You can see we have lots of colors specified. We have gray, we have red, we have orange, yellow, teal, cyan, blue, purple, pink. Have all of these to make sure that um, when you're building components, you literally do not have to um, go into Figma and start dealing with so much colors and you can just go straight into um, creating beautiful layouts and beautiful components using our color theme object. We also have typography, so we have specific font sizes that you can use from small to large to six extra large. We have font weights, bold, normal, medium, line height, different spacing and breakpoints, various things that you want to use on your application. So if you want to know more, simply go to the Chakra UI docs that talks about theming and you get to know every single thing about how to use the theme object. So in this video, I'll be demoing how to use the theme to style this particular component from Career Lift. So if you go to careerlift.com, you'll be able to see this component and all we'll focus on is how to style this right part here that says mobile friendly to these buttons underneath here. So I have my layout already done in Code Sandbox and you'll see um, in order not to waste your time on this video, I've already gone in to put my content and create this resume highlights component that I'm using in my index, the JS right here. So let's get started and I'll show you how exactly this theme object works. So to start off, um, I have my mobile friend text here and I open my inspect element to be able to get the exact um, font size that mobile friendly is. So all I need to do is to select mobile friendly and I see the font size is 17 pixels. So um, I go to my Chakra UI docs and I look for where it specifies font sizes. Okay, so I see there's a medium that has 16 pixels. So for the purpose of this video, I'll be using medium 16 pixels. So all you need to do is come here in your component and just specify font size of medium. So you notice instead of um, hard coding this value at 16 pixels, I literally just went in to put medium. And this saves you so, so much time and so much stress and helps you maintain consistency and uniformity across your application. So I have my medium font size here and we go back to career lift size and we see that this is some form of gray color. It's not black. So we go to the color palette and like I said earlier, we have various yummy colors for you to choose from. So I go to gray and let me see, I want to use gray 400. All we need to do is to use the color prop and specify gray dot 400. So you notice that this is what comes. Gray dot 400 gives us this gray um, color here. So let me see, maybe take it a tone darker. Gray dot 500 is it's more like it. So this is literally what you do whenever you want to use a color. You could literally just say orange dot 500 and that will give you um, this orange color here and literally orange dot anything or the color dot anything will give you that particular color. So we we'll take us back to gray dot 500 and you see we so easily styled the first part of this um, component and you notice that I didn't have to put a font weight like bold. This is because I'm already using the heading component and the heading by default comes with its own 
um, boldness because it's a heading component. However, if I use my text component, I'll, I could easily have gone to use um, font width. Um, let's go back to the docs and see what font width comes with. Okay, I could easily have used font width bold here. And this would give us exactly what we had earlier or something very close to what we had earlier. So we are done with that particular line. So let's go, let's continue. You can see there's some spacing, like there's some uniform spacing across the um, font size here. So across this text that has the heading. So you see it's a margin, top margin, bottom of 24 pixels. So go into spacing and we see it's okay, 24 pixels. Um, I go into spacing or sizes. I think sizes is more like it. A spacing, yeah, 24 pixels. And the way Chakra UI does it is that um, there's a note underneath here that says, if you need a spacing of 40 pixels, divide it by four, and that will give you 10 pixels. So right now we need a spacing of 24 pixels and when we divide 24 by 4 we have 6 so we just see 6 we need a spacing of 6 so we go to our heading our heading text and we see py which is padding y which is the padding we want at the top and at the bottom so we just say 6 and 6 gives us this spacing that we want and that is 24 pixels so let's continue. We are almost done with our styling, and then we go into um, this component right here, or this text right here, and you see that it has a line height of 1.6. So we go back to check why you write docs and say, okay, what is the line height I want for my component? Or for my text and see line height, we can say tall. Tall is 1.6 to 5. Mm, not bad. So I go back here and I say my line height should be tall. And if you notice, there's a little bit of line height that has been applied to that text. So lastly, um, we want to um, ensure that this is cyan. This, the color of this button I mean is cyan. So we go back to our colors and we specify the button color to be cyan. So if you go through the docs of um, button components, you notice that when we are specifying color theme for buttons, default color themes that come with button, all we need to do is put in the color scheme prop and specify the actual color. So unlike saying um, blue is a 500, what we just need to do is say color scheme is equal to cyan. So the color we need is cyan, which is for the um, secondary button. So we just say color scheme. And mind you, I'm using the Chakra UI 1.0. If you're used to the um, if you're used to um, Chakra UI 0.8 instead of specifying color scheme you'll probably just say variant color so i want my color that's the color of the text to be white and we are almost done people all they need to do is to um, put some margin left so we know there's a little bit of spacing between the line more button and try for free button so i then go and put in my margin left which is a prop so we also, I'll make a video that walks you through um, the short forms of almost all props that you can use in Chakra UI. So ML stands for margin left and we specify it as, um, I can say 4 and this will give me 16 pixels and that is literally how to use the default Chakra UI theme component. In um, version 1.0 and I really hope this video has been very useful. All you need to do is come to the docs that talks about defaulting, go through it, practice, use it in your next project, and you'll see how easy to use it is. So this is the defaulting object or the default theme. Yeah, the default theme object in Chakra UI. 
you may ask that okay what if i want to specify my actual um theme and i don't want to use the default theme this is very possible in chakra ui and i'll make a video on this in my next tutorial i hope this has been very helpful for you see you in my next tutorial bye